People just say it. They say this when she is bad and they usually don't even know why. It's just like lame or whatever. And they're like, ugh, the Smith machine. It's not hardcore enough. Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. And on today's episode of BS, don't worry, I'll get to swearing later, is the idea, the BS idea that the Smith machine is no good. It's no good. Most of this comes from quote unquote hardcore bros who uh, they don't know why they say it, but they say stuff like the Smith machine is g ghastly. It's just ghastly, darling. They say another word that also starts with a G, which as of the 20 whatever the fuck year, we're not allowed to say. And understandably, to a certain extent. In any case, jokes are jokes, people, but I digress. Number two. That was point number one. People just say it. They say this when she is bad and they usually don't even know why. It's just like lame or whatever. And they're like, ugh, the Smith machine. It's not hardcore enough. But that's not really a reason. That's just another word placed in a, to substitute what would be an explanation. Now, if they were trying to explain themselves and they actually knew things, they would say maybe something like this. A couple things, maybe three. One is some good reason to believe that when you have a frictionless environment, roughly so, with a free barbell movement, for example, you get the full eccentric load and an even concentric load. So the eccentric to concentric ratio is the same, same load, same force production requirement, and thus you get the full power of a loaded eccentric. If you have a Smith machine, especially one that's a little bit rusty and old, on the way down, the rusty old shit actually decreases how much weight you have to lift because the weight rides the rust. And friction on the way down means you don't have to impart as much force on the eccentric. And on the way up, you actually have to fight the friction, which means the eccentric force requirement drops, the concentric lifts, the amount of total weight you have to use matches the concentric because if you're concentric, you're going to do 10 reps. Well, you can't use more than that. The load has to drop, and thus the eccentric load drops. The concentric's as good as it ever was, maybe better. The eccentric drops, and that eccentric lowering is probably more growth-inducing on average than the concentric, or at least as good, and you're missing some of it. The eccentric growth is super important, and on a Smith machine, you probably get less of it by some margin than with free weights. So. Technically speaking, theoretically, you could see a potential reduction in set for set weight from weight matched growth, maybe. In addition, another critique is that a Smith machine for athletes or for people interested in real world strength, wrestlers, people who like lift up like movers or something, um, people who are trying to lift their groceries and stuff, the lack of free motion means not as much involvement of stability and that means a lower transfer to real world strength. Legitimate, legitimate critique, absolutely. And then lastly, the lack of free motion means that if you use it wrong, it can really screw up your joints. If you put your feet too far back or too far forward in a Smith machine squat, you can really fuck up your back or really fuck up your knees as you lose a degree of freedom with how the bar moves. And then like, it just puts your back and knees into a shitty position a position that is almost impossible to get into in a regular squat that's free weight because if your knees feel weird, just shift your hips back and now it takes the stress off the knees. If the back feels weird, you'll shift your weight forward and the knees take the load. So you get an even distribution of load. You can't really aggravate stuff nearly as easily, but on a Smith machine, your bottom is locked, top is locked, and you could really get into a situation where you expose your joints in a not nice way. And you might not even know you're doing it until three weeks later, you're like, Fucking elbows hurt. This sucks. So if you're using the Smith machine wrong, you might not know about it. It takes a lot of insight to be able to use it properly. It's probably not going to hurt your joints, but it really, really can in a way that free weight auto corrects. Number three, here's the real deal. So yes, there are critiques against the Smith machine, but here's the point number three. If you use the Smith machine right, if you use it correctly, it's a fine variation and in fact a great tool because it's like 10 exercises in one. You can do rows on it, you can do deadlifts, you can do inverted rows, you can do pull-ups, you can do flat press, incline press, skull crusher, upright row, holy crap, it's a lot of exercises in one. It's a great tool that you can use. And what do I mean by right? How do you use the Smith machine correctly? That means adjusting your positioning if your joints feel uncomfortable or weird or if they have pain. If you're doing Smith machine close grip bench and you're like, ow, 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 slide up or down the fucking bench and be like, oh, okay, that feels better. 
Because with a barbell, everything auto-corrects anyway, so if it feels weird on one, you can always move the bar in your own hands. With a Smith machine, that bar only goes up and down. It doesn't do shit else, so it's up to you to get the right settings. If you can do that, it doesn't take a ton of insight. If you don't know how to properly position yourself, look at some YouTube videos. Get on the Team Full ROM forum. We'll critique your technique. And link down below. I had to say it. Uh, or just find someone knowledgeable and ask them to look at your technique and you can work out in a Smith machine in a totally safe, ultra effective way without having to throw out the baby with the bathwater. When people say the Smith machine sucks, adding no context or nuance, I get the same face that Arnold did when he rolled down that hill in the Martian landscape and fucking Total Recall, which is a legendary movie. I really hope he did the voice acting for that because that was fucking legendary. Disagree with me? Think the Smith machine is terrible and I'm evil? See you in the comments below. See you guys next time.